Welcome back to the Virtual Hangar. Today we're going to get going with mosaics, so let's get started. Your kit will include one 4-inch wood square, a bag of glass pieces, some grout, yours might be a different color than mine, a sponge, one plastic cup, one popsicle stick, and some tacky glue in a little pot. So the first thing that I'm going to do to get started is take all of my glass pieces and I'm actually going to sort them by color. I think, I mean, you could just glue them on in a random sort of assortment and that would also probably look fine, but I'm going to try and do mine in some sort of organized fashion. So I'm going to use a little movie magic here, separate all my glass tiles by color. Um, and then when I'm done, uh, maybe there's a few colors that I decide I don't want to use, so I'm going to just go ahead and separate those out. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the rainbow colors for this one. The next step is to take all of our glass pieces and attach them to our wood base. We are going to do that by using tacky glue. Um, you could, if you wanted to, in the meantime, uh, arrange all your tiles in a design on your wood square and take a picture, put it to the side, and then glue all the pieces down. Um, but I'm just going to wing it. So I start by just putting a little bit of glue on the bottom side of the glass tile, and then I just start from one corner to the other and arrange them outward. Um, couple notes about this. Don't use so much glue. You don't want a ton of glue outside of where the tile actually the glass tiles actually are. You don't want a lot of excess glue, so that's why I do the glue directly onto the tile. And then if you find that some of your glass tiles have a weird texture on one side, um, you might want to put the glue on that side so that the weird texture part is face down, touching the wood square, so that in your final piece, the nice side of the tile is facing up. Um, other than that, the tacky glue shouldn't dry so fast that you can't um, kind of rearrange these as you go, but again, you don't want to put too much glue on the wood where there isn't going to be glass because you want the grout to have something to adhere to and you want it to adhere to the wood. Um, so just leave a little bit of space in between each tile and glue the tiles down. And there we go. Little movie magic there. That obviously took a lot longer than it did for this video. Um, but just um, when I'm done gluing all my tiles down, I do kind of scooch it that's a technical term, um, so that the tile is flush with the side of the wood. I don't want the glass tile to stick out from the side. So after you kind of push it down on each side, just make sure it's nice and square. Then we're going to let that tacky glue dry overnight. The next step is grouting. Before you open that bag, you are going to want to um, pull out a fabric mask, which I'm sure you have at this point. Make sure you're always wearing a mask when you're dealing with the grout in its powder form. The powder is very fine and you don't want to breathe any of it in when you're pouring it into your cup. Which is the next step. We are going to take our grout from our bag and pour it into the cup here that I gave you. It should be about a third of a cup of grout. Um, and then once you can kind of see the cloud come up as I pour it. So you don't want to breathe any of that in. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Um, it's about a third of a cup of grout, and then we are going to add about two tablespoons of water. You want to start with less water um, because you don't want to make this too overly wet, but I'm just adding two tablespoons of water. And then I take my popsicle stick and give it a good stir. We want to saturate all of the powder with the water, um, and we're going to make this into a nice concrete kind of paste. Um, so just very carefully with your popsicle stick, so you don't want to spill any of it, make sure you're getting all the lumps out. You're going to give this a good, good stir with your popsicle stick. Get all the powder out of the bottom cracks of the cup. Um, I'm going to use some movie magic here. Do this a little bit faster. Alrighty, give that a good mix. Keep mixing. And then once you've got all of it mixed, we are going to um, take our popsicle stick and just wipe the excess um, off of our popsicle stick and then we are going to do the hardest part which is following the package instructions and let this sit for 10 minutes without touching it. We just need to let the water saturate into the grout. Um, put your popsicle stick aside because we're going to use it again in 10 minutes before we start uh, grouting our tile. 
So after 10 minutes has passed, give the grout another stir with your popsicle stick. Um, just, you know, a little quick stir, make everything double, double sure it's incorporated. And then to grout your tile, you're gonna hold on to your tile and just take a little bit of the grout at a time on the popsicle stick and just smoosh it, technical term, into all of the cracks in between the glass tiles on your coaster. So um, it doesn't take actually a lot of grout to do this, but you do wanna just make sure that you're getting in between all of the cracks. Um, eventually the grout will sit flush with the glass tiles that we glued onto the wood. So you have to push enough grout into the cracks so that it actually does that. Um, so that's also why we leave a little bit of distance in between the glass tiles so we get this nice even grouting in between each tile. So we're just going to um, very carefully and artistically, you know, scrape off the excess grout while pushing the grout in between the cracks of all of the little glass tiles. I am going to use a little bit of movie magic here just to finish up. You should have plenty of grout to grout your tile. You really don't need that much. Um, but once you've got all of the grout into the cracks where it goes, um, and you scraped off most of it with your popsicle stick, you're going to take a sponge. Um, best to do this over the sink, but I don't have one that I can film. <laughs> so I am using a sponge with a bowl of water. You're just going to wet your sponge and then wipe off the excess grout. Rinse off your sponge in the water. I have a bowl of water just off camera that I'm rinsing my sponge in. And um, you're just going to wipe down the surface of the tile. You don't want to push too hard. You're just trying to wipe the grout off the surface of the glass. Um, you don't want to push so hard that you wipe the grout out from in between the tiles. Um, but you want to get most of it off with the sponge. And then I'm taking a paper towel and just wiping the edges off um, because some of the grout will kind of squeegee out <laughs> to the sides. Um, and this is when you want to clean up your tile, and make it clean for finishing. Um, so I just take my paper towel. I'm wiping down my surface a little bit. You can also um, take your paper towel and give it a good wipe. And then what we're going to do, it doesn't matter how well you clean it during this stage, there will still be a little bit of a grout haze um, that will develop on top of the glass. So what we're going to do is wait about two hours. That should give the grout time to make its little haze. And then one last time, take a wet, clean sponge and just wipe off the surface of your tile. Um, and that's all there is to it. We are going to let this dry overnight before we use it. That's how long it takes for the grout to set up. And then there you have it. Your tile will probably look a little bit different from mine, depending on the tiles you get in your kit. I would love to see them. Please post them on social media and tag us. And I will see you next time.